Brock Lesnar facing Logan Paul at WWE WrestleMania 39. Winner spoiled for Roman Reigns vs Drew McIntyre at Clash at the Castle. Roman Reigns comments on WWE creating underwear with his catchphrase on them. Former WWE superstar Velveteen Dream gets arrested. Sasha Banks and Naomi spotted backstage on WWE Raw last night, Triple H bringing back Braun Strowman. Let's jump right into our first story. Roman Reigns comments on WWE creating underwear with his catchphrase on them. While Roman Reigns is preparing for an intense battle in Cardiff, Wales, where he is set to defend his undisputed WWE Universal Championship, the Tribal Chief took the time to comment on slightly less important matters, like WWE Shop's latest line of superstar-themed boxers. For those who are unaware, the company has had a line of men's boxer briefs, which features logos and slogans from several superstars for some time. The most recent undergarments include The Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Roman Reigns himself. In an interview with Jimmy Traina on the Sports Illustrated Media podcast, Reigns was asked about the boxers and his thoughts on them. The current champion stated that he did not know about the underwear line, but said jokingly that he hoped it would help out the shy guys. That's when you drop them and there are no words needed. I'm trying to help my people out, strong and silent. It's for the shy guys. You know what they say about shy guys, right? joked Roman Reigns. While discussing underwear might be a moment of levity for the tribal chief, Reigns has a tall task at hand come Saturday clash at the castle. Roman Reigns' over 700-day reign as champion is in jeopardy as he is set to square off against the very game Drew McIntyre. McIntyre will have a home field advantage as Clash at the Castle is set to take place in the United Kingdom, as the company will host its first major UK event since 1992. While McIntyre seems to feel extremely confident in his chances of dethroning Reigns and truly cementing himself as the chosen one, the latest edition of SmackDown shows that the bloodline might be too much for the Scottish warrior to handle. Do you think Drew McIntyre will be able to beat Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship? Will you be purchasing a pair of boxer briefs from the WWE shop? Let us know all of your thoughts in the comments section. Karrion Cross teases a match against Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt is a name that many still want to see return to WWE. He was long regarded as a WWE lifer, which is why it came as a massive shock when he was released in 2021. A year later and under a new WWE regime, a recently returning superstar Karrion Cross teased a match against him. Cross made his shocking return to SmackDown along with his wife Scarlett not too long ago and has made an immediate impact as he continues to loom over Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre. On Twitter, Karrion Cross retweeted a user who stated that he wanted to see the former NXT champion face the former WWE champion Bray Wyatt. Cross even responded to the tweet by asking his wife Scarlett Bordeaux if she knows any spells. There have been several returns and further rumors about more released superstars being brought back to the company. One such name is Wyatt. While there is no concrete proof that he is returning and that it's a done deal, the belief is that there is a much higher chance of him returning now that Vince McMahon is retired. Fightful Select even reported that there have been creative pitches within the company to bring back the Eater of Worlds. It has also been rumored that there is interest in bringing back his former ally and rival Braun Strowman to WWE. Keep watching for more on that map. In the eyes of fans, Wyatt is a good fit for WWE over AEW or any other promotion. He hasn't stepped in the ring ever since WrestleMania 37 in 2021. Do you think Wyatt will return to WWE? Give us your thoughts in the comments section below. Former WWE Superstar Velveteen Dream Gets Arrested News of former WWE Superstar Velveteen Dream's recent arrest has taken wrestling Twitter by storm. Velveteen Dream is one of the most controversial wrestlers in recent years. Following a series of controversies surrounding him, the young gun was let go by WWE last year. On August 26, 2022, the ex-WWE star was arrested in Orange County, Florida. The 27-year-old wrestler was arrested for possession of drug paraphernalia. As per another report, he was arrested on August 20 for battery and trespassing. The news of Dream's arrest quickly went viral on social media and garnered tons of responses from wrestling fans. Back when Dream was a WWE mainstay, Triple H was a massive fan of the promising star. Here's what the game once said about Dream, here's where I sit with Velveteen Dream. Unbelievable. Everything about him is not to be believed about how good he is and then I remember that he is only 23 years old. 23 years old, to take the champion with as much experience as he has, Tommaso Ciampa, to take him to that limit. To make a little mistake and to lose in what could have gone either way at 23 years old. To have the whole world thinking this is yours at 23 it's scary how good he will be, he said. Dream recently changed his look and put up a new picture on his Instagram profile. He also put up a hashtag on his Instagram bio, which stated bring back Velveteen Dream. Dream made news for all the wrong reasons in 2020 and was accused of sending indecent pictures to minor. WWE went on to investigate the serious accusations, but seemingly found nothing when all was said and done. With the recent news of Dream's arrest, it's safe to assume that a WWE return won't be on the cards anytime soon. Do you think Dream will ever step back into a WWE ring? 
Sasha Banks and Naomi spotted backstage on WWE Raw last night. Sasha Banks and Naomi were reportedly backstage for WWE Raw. The former women's tag team champions walked out of WWE during the May 16th edition of Raw, reportedly leaving their tag titles on the desk of former EVP of Talent Relations John Laurinate. Both Naomi and Sasha were scheduled to enter into single storylines against the Raw and SmackDown women's champions heading into the Hell in the Cell premium live event. After the champions walked out, a tournament was announced for the vacant women's tag team championships. The tournament only recently got underway with the finals scheduled for last tonight. Dakota Kai and Io Sky battled Raquel Rodriguez and Alia on Raw to determine the new champion. Zero News is now reporting that Sasha and Naomi were backstage at tonight's Raw as well as several NXT stars. It should be noted that this report hasn't yet been confirmed by other sources as of this writing. Sasha and Naomi were backstage as per earlier report. Still no word on if Hunter will do at Clash. Also advised there were several NXT stars backstage but again not sure what for and if will appear, wrote Zero News on Twitter. Charlotte Flair recently spoke with Stone Cold Steve Austin on an episode of Broken Skull session. She was asked her thoughts on the situation and gave an intriguing response. The 36-year-old claimed that she could not imagine never getting the chance to face Sasha again in a WWE ring. The Queen noted that she hasn't been around the company as of late and is unaware of what led to Sasha and Naomi walking out of the promotion. 1. I haven't been there, because I left after WrestleMania backlash. I know what it's like to jump on social media and read these headlines that are so far from the truth. I don't know what happened. What I can say is, I can't imagine never wrestling Sasha again. It will be interesting to see if Sasha and Naomi make their returns at Clash. Would you like to see Sasha Banks and Naomi appear at Clash? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Triple H bringing back Braun Strowman Triple H doesn't appear to be slowing down when it comes to building up the rosters of Raw and SmackDown. Since the game has taken over as the head of WWE creative on the main roster, we have had the returns of Dakota Kai, Hit Row, Karrion Cross, Johnny Gargano, and but if recent reports are any indicator, he's just getting started. According to Fightful Sean Ross Sapp, former WWE Universal Champion Braun Strowman has reportedly been pitched or discussed to make his return to the company. The Monster Among Men was surprisingly released by the company back in June of 2021. Strowman has only wrestled eight times since his WWE release, half of them coming as part of the promotion he's currently running with EC3 called Control Your Narrative. Despite not wrestling much, sources within the company had complimented the former Universal Champion for staying ring-ready and have gone as far to say that he looks better now than he did when he was employed by the company. While Braun Strowman never had a run on Triple H's NXT, he did spend some time in the WWE Performance Center before being called up to the main roster by Vince McMahon. Sapp attempted to get confirmation on this report through people and influence at WWE but couldn't get anyone to confirm or deny the discussions about Strowman on record. While there's always a chance that Strowman will choose not to return to WWE, the company has discussed his comeback internally, and pitches have been made regarding his potential return. Will the monster among man be on his way back to WWE? Only time will tell. What are your thoughts on Braun Strowman potentially returning to WWE? Is he the kind of hire you want to see Triple H make? Let us know your thoughts by sounding off in the comments section below. Winner spoiled for Roman Reigns vs Drew McIntyre at Clash at the Castle If WrestleVote's latest report is to be believed, Roman Reigns could possibly lose his title belts at Clash at the Castle. It's been about five months since the Tribal Chief became the undisputed WWE Universal Champion after defeating Brock Lesnar in the main event of WrestleMania 38. Reigns has held both the world championships ever since then and has been unstoppable. As per a new report by WrestleVotes, WWE's creative team is currently discussing ideas in regards to Reigns possibly dropping his titles. Here is the full tweet that WrestleVotes shared. For the first time in a long time, there has been some discussions creatively regarding Roman Reigns dropping the titles. I'm hearing multiple ideas have intrigued those making the final call come set in Cardiff. Should be an interesting week ahead. Fans flock to the reply section of WrestleVotes tweet to react to the big rumor about Reign. Roman Reigns won the Universal title at Payback 2020, mere days after turning heel at SummerSlam that year. He has beaten every big name in WWE over the past two years, including Drew McIntyre, Brock Lesnar, John Cena, and Roman Reigns recently completed a whopping 700 days as the Universal Champion. It wouldn't be a stretch to call him the most dominant champion of this era. WWE has left no stone unturned when it comes to pushing him as a legit megastar over the past two years. However, Drew McIntyre is quite possibly the biggest babyface in WWE at the moment. The WWE Universe is behind him and would love to see him take the belts off Reigns at Clash at the Castle. Here's what McIntyre had to say about facing Reigns in the United Kingdom earlier this year. I'm a two-time WWE Champion, but I never won the title in front of our fans. My dream situation is fighting for the title against Roman at the UK show. 
there is going to be such intense anticipation for that event. And that would be a match, atmosphere-wise, that people would always remember, he said. It's quite hard to fathom that Reigns will lose his championships at Clash at the Castle. WWE has surprised its fans on countless occasions in the past, though. What do you think? Will Roman Reigns lose the undisputed WWE Universal title at Clash at the Castle? Brock Lesnar facing Logan Paul at WWE WrestleMania 39 Former WCW star Conan recently shared his thoughts on a possible match between Brock Lesnar and Logan Paul at WWE WrestleMania 39. The social media sensation made his in-ring debut in a tag team match at WrestleMania 38 earlier this year, where he teamed up with The Miz to defeat Rey and Dominic Mysterio. However, Logan Paul and the Alistair turned enemies, resulting in a match at SummerSlam 2022, where Logan won. Though he hasn't wrestled in WWE since the biggest part of the summer, fans are clamoring to see him return and engage in a marquee feud. On the latest episode of Keeping It 100, Conan answered a fan writing that Logan Paul vs. Brock Lesnar could be a great option for WrestleMania 39. The wrestling veteran compared Logan Paul to SmackDown broadcaster Pat McAfee, saying that despite being a newbie, he has been impressive. Conan added that he would prefer to see WWE build the 27-year-old a lot more before a dream showdown with the Beast Incarnate materializes. I would personally build him a little bit more and then see. I still want to see what he has got, said Conan. We have got such a small sample. You know, he's like Pat McAfee. The small sample has been great, but let's see what else he can do and build them up. After his insane last man standing match against undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns at this year's SummerSlam, Brock Lesnar has been missing from the promotion. Though Lesnar fell short in his efforts to recapture the gold at the show, the Beast Incarnate's unhinged performance is still fresh in fans' memory. It'll be interesting to see what Triple H and co have in store for Brock Lesnar going forward, with a match against Logan Paul indeed being an enticing prospect. Both performers are enormously popular with fans, and it's safe to assume they could leave the viewers on the edge of their seats if they happen to collide. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing, take me